Footings It is well worth making the effort to ensure your footings are square and level. A footing placed and finished accurate to plus or minus a quarter inch is an ideal starting point. If the footings are not within these tolerances, it may be necessary to shim up or trim the bottom of the first course of block to make a level surface for the following courses and to keep your corners plumb and wall lengths correct. Footings need to be laid out to accommodate the width of the form. For example, on a 20-inch footing, the center line of the footing becomes the center line of the wall. We recommend you make your footings a minimum of 20 inches wide to accommodate the 6-inch concrete core blocks, which are 11 and a quarter inch wide, and 22 inches for the 8-inch concrete core blocks, which are 13 and a quarter inch wide. A 20-inch or 22-inch wide footing makes it more practical to lay all blocks in case errors in alignment have occurred. Always consult local codes to make sure the footing will accumulate the Advantage ICF system foundation. In the case of step footings, we recommend a step height of 16 and a half inches, which matches the height of a standard form. This step height can be accomplished by stacking three 2x6s on edge to a total of 16 and a half inches. Check with local building officials as to the maximum rise and minimum run for step footings permitted in your area, or refer to the appropriate building code. Steel reinforcing dowels should extend a minimum of 18 inches from the top of the footing to match the size of vertical rebar, a maximum spacing of 24 inches on center, with a minimum 8-inch total embedment into footing and 3-inch cover thickness, or as per local code. If the footing is less than 11 inches thick, use L-shaped dowels. This information may be found in your Advantage ICF system technical and design detail manuals.